Morning, Nuggets. Okay, it is 8.15. Uh, day three of writing the screenplay. Um, this idea I had. So if you haven't seen any other videos, I'm writing a screenplay. Normally I do the synopsis, I plot it out, I do all of this pre-work, index cards, and then I write. This time I had the idea, I focused on a log line, got the log line to where I think, yep, that's the story, and now I'm just going to write the script and see how it goes. So different attempt. I wanted to write it within a week. That was the goal. Uh, it was a tentative goal, right? It was like, that would be the ideal. And now for some reason it's stuck in my head, I've got to write it in a week. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. You know, I've got to be positive though. But um, yesterday was a better day. The first day was difficult. I only wrote three or four pages. Yesterday I got up to page 11 and it's the beginning of the script. So it's very hard. The middle of the script usually, especially when you're like, I think they should do this next. Now writing is easier, right? But at the beginning of the script, I didn't have any characters when I started this idea. I literally just had a log line. And it's an ensemble piece. So it's not like, you know, um, an angry postal worker goes on a rampage. Because I didn't even have the postal worker. I just had the setting, the general theme of the idea, which I worked into a log line. And now I have to write it. And I have to figure out the characters. And there's like 10 of them. So... It's going to be slow at the start. I'm hoping it will pick up a little bit if I can keep my focus up. But I'm on page 11. And um, I, can't, I ran, ran into this problem which stopped me writing yesterday. Which is, I got two of these characters that I've developed and they're talking to each other. And one of the problems is when you don't have a beat sheet, when you don't have a synopsis, when you don't have a where is this scene going... Um, it's very easy to get those two characters to just start arguing and have the dialogue be cool and sound natural and sound great, but to be fucking pointless, right? Like when you read it, when someone reads it, they're like, what's the point of this scene? Cut, cut, cut. So I need to keep everything actually valid and move the story forward. There needs to be purpose as to why these people speak, not just, you know, cool words um, and patterns. And right now I'm in danger of doing that. That's why I stopped writing. There's this scene where these two characters are arguing. They've said what they need to say. Now I need to find another thing to happen, which is really hard to do when you don't have it written down. I think what I might need to do is to briefly today go back to, I don't know where the book is, uh, Save the Cat. So if you're starting writing in any format, specifically screenwriting, I highly recommend Save the Cat. There are thousands, a book, by the way, it's just a weird statement if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's a book called Save the Cat. And there's tons of versions of it, but just save the cat, buy the first one. Um, there are thousands of books on screenwriting. You know, different act structures, different ways of approaching things, and they're all good. Whatever one works for you, works for you. Sid Field was like one of the originals, did like a three-act structure. I think I might be getting that wrong. It's been a while since I read it. But I liked Save the Cat. It just really sang to me the way the, the writer, whose name I can't, maybe Blake... Blake Snidely? That's, that sounds like a comic book villain. Anyway, Blake Snyder, Blake Snidely. Anyway, whoever it is that wrote Save the Cat, the way he breaks down um, a movie script, a story, is really good because he gives you um, buoys to hold on in the ocean of your ideas, right? Ooh, isn't that beautiful? So poetic. But like you've got all of this chaos in your head Sometimes a book, even though it may not be, you can't write by a template, right? You can't just, you can't use Microsoft Word. Like it looks like you're trying to write a screenplay. But it really helps if you have an, someone who can say like, look, let me help sort out this mess. And Save the Cat does that. He starts with an adherence to a, plot, a log line. Write your log line, rewrite it, spend time on it, and then print it and stick it on your wall and look at it. Sorry about the dogs going crazy. The gardeners are here. So he'll say, write the log line, stick it on your wall and refer back to it. For me, that works really well in whatever I'm writing, however I'm doing it. It really helps to remind yourself, this is why I'm writing the story. You know? I'm looking because I've got it printed up right there. Um, he then goes on to how each story can be broken down into different points, different plot points. And that all works for me too, but it may not for you. But it doesn't really matter. Fucking gardeners. The point is you need a method. Otherwise, you're going to be in chaos. Otherwise, you're just going to write randomly and things won't gel. And you'll read your great idea, compare it to an existing screenplay, and you'll think, what, what went wrong? Well, Save the Cat might help you with that. 
So I recommend you, you buy it. I recommend every writer I know to buy it, actually. Even if you read it and think it's bullshit, read it and it will, something will go in. Something will help. Um, so I think I might need to refer back to that just to help me through this little bit where I feel like the characters are just talking heads and they're not going anywhere and the story particularly isn't going anywhere. I think that can help. Anyway, so I'm on page 11. It'd be great if I could write 10 pages today. I mean, if I write 10 pages a day, I still miss my seven-day deadline, which is why I'm realizing that's ridiculous. And so far, two days, I've only written an average of five pages a day. So we'll see. Uh, that's it. Once they get into the meat of the story, it should be a little bit easier. But then the ending will be hard. So, you know, we'll see. Anyway, that's the update. Hopefully, I'll do an update tomorrow. And uh, I'll say where I got to. Um, that's it. Get busy writing. If you're a writer, write.